Hello the lovely ice houses, it's Tara. So as you can see um, from this pile of stuff here um, on my bed, um, this is going to be my first ever anniversary video. As you can probably tell by all of these items. Today is the 30th anniversary of the one and only Man of Colors, which is one of my absolute favorite albums. It's a classic, it's a masterpiece, it's just absolutely beautiful. So, um, there's going to be a lot of, I guess, footage from the Man of Colors period and other things just like my collection and everything like that. There's not much to say apart from there's going to be a lot in this video, but you'll see that um, in here. So without further ado, here is the 30th anniversary of Man of Colors. So congratulations Iva and Isis and Let's begin with the video. So Man of Colours was released uh, locally here in Australia on the 21st of September 1987, which of course is 30 years today. The album actually peaked at number one um, on the ARIA charts and stayed on the charts for 11 weeks from the 5th of October 1987 and has sold over 700,000 copies. On the Billboard 200 albums, Man of Colors reached number 43. Crazy, which became the first single from the album, reached up to number 3 in July. And of course, Electric Blue was number one and it also hit number seven in the Hot 100. The album won two ARIA awards for Album of the Year and the highest selling album. And of course the other awards from Australia which is the APRA Music Awards. Ivor won the APRA award for the most performed Australian popular work for Electric Blue. Other tracks that were released as singles include My Obsession. Man of Colors. He says, I, I am a man, a simple man, a man of colors, and nothing too serious. Following year, the Black Sleeve release uh, came out. The normal one was the white, so they made a black one. That's going to be later in the video. Other songs from the track list include Heartbreak Kid, The Kingdom, Girl in the Moon, Anybody's War, which I have uploaded. Um, I think I uploaded it um, <laughs> probably mid last year, something like that. Sunrise, which is a beautiful song. The bonus tracks um, on the original 1987 um, CD were the two crazy mixes, um, which happened to be the 12 inch version and also the midnight mix, and the 2002 remastered version um, of the catalog that they put out uh, 15 years ago include Shaking the Cage, Over My Head, which um, was the B-side for Electric Blue, Touch the Fire, Jimmy Dean and Electric Blue Extended Mix, which um, happens to be in a bunch of LPs from the Electric Blue release, 
um, both Chrysalis and regular records, I believe. Of course, Ivor played the oboe on um, Man of Colours, and that song is just absolutely beautiful. And um, my little dog, Harold, um, also loved it. Electric Blue um, was actually co-written by Ivor, and also John Oates, yes, THE John Oates of Hollow Oates. And um, pretty much the story was that John Oates found Ivor in um, Adelaide Airport and he went up to him and said, oh, you know, I bought your album, absolutely love it, my name's John Oates, see you later. And Ivor was pretty gobsmacked according to a lot of interviews that I've heard. And then many years later, probably when Measure for Measure was released, he actually tracked Ivor in a bar in, I think it was New York. The barman handed the phone to Ivor because John Oates called the bar and somehow figured out that Ivor was there, tracked him down, like I said, and said to him, oh, I'd like to write some songs with you. And so he actually went out there and John Oates actually took his instruments and everything like that and for about two weeks they were writing songs. Electric Blue wasn't even finished. It was just a little song with a couple of melodies and things like that, um, according to Iva, and John Oates apparently said to him, if you don't release the song, let me know, and Hall and Oates will record it and it will be a hit. And boy was he bloody right. <laughs> Completely right. And it became number one, their biggest selling single of all time and an absolute classic. Of course, the other members um, that contributed to the album um, during the Man of Colors period as well, as you know, during the Man of Colors, Man of Colors tour, uh, were Bob Kreshmer on guitar, Annie Kunta on the keyboards and piano, Simon Lloyd, and he did reeds, brass, keyboards and programming, Steve Morgan, the bass guitar, so he pretty much came along when, um, right before Crazy was released, I believe. So in 87, he came uh, to the band for the first time. And of course, the legendary drummer Paul Wheeler. <laughs> and it was recorded from February to May 1987, produced by David Lord. And now for the cover artwork. So it was actually designed by Ivor and Bob um, because Ivor went to a local store. I think it was a newspaper store or something like that and he bought coloured crayons and he drew a simple little figure which held three different coloured flowers which uh, became I guess the colours and the symbols of Manor Colours. And of course Ice House released three coloured vinyls so the mana colours of um, red, yellow and blue. And also they did 30 of a tricolour, which is pretty cool. Um, it's very valuable. It's pretty cool. And in 2012 they, they re released the album and the three colours. And apparently this month they are going to be... Um, I'm not sure when because they said it would be released by Universal. But apparently they're making a multicoloured album which is going to... Um, commemorate the 30th anniversary of uh, the album and once I get the link for that um, I shall post it and I'll let you know when it is out. So here is pretty much my entire Man of Colors collection. Goes up to here. It's pretty big. So let me start with the top. Okay so we've got the 2012 um, coloured vinyls. Of course they all came in the three colours of the tricolour. Oh, sorry about that guys. Uh, almost lost you. Almost lost you guys. So we've got red, yellow and blue and I actually haven't taken um, them out of the packet yet. So I may keep them in there. Radio. so next we've got the 1987 coloured versions of the album. And once again, I have never played these because, well, the coloured ones are, in my opinion, too good to play. And, like, all the scratches on them and everything like that. Don't want to get them too scratched. Uh, 
I've got these two versions of Electric Blue that are actually from Chrysalis. Um, so the American ones. So we've got the nice coloured and one and then we've got the blue cover. Um, and they're really nice. Uh, let's see. I actually have two um, of the normal um, covers. So the normal albums. <laughs> and they're really cool. Um, let's see. Two of the CDs. The original 87 CD. Then we've got the remastered 25th anniversary edition. And that's really cool. Next we've got this t-shirt. And it's just a plain one with the Man of Colors logo. That's really cool. This nice photo that was uh, given to me as a 16th birthday present uh, from my auntie and uncle and cousins. So Then we've got a few crazy shirts. We've got red, black and... I'll just move this one away. Then we've got the nice stripe one. I forgot about this picture. This is a promo picture um, of Ivor from 1987. So from the crazy video. It's a really nice one of him. I like it. Um, and I just found it, no one bid it for it, so I thought, why not? And then of course you saw in one of my early videos this year, we've got the four big hits with Crazy and Electric Blue and also My Obsession. Then we've got these little seven inch coloured vinyls of Electric Blue and My Obsession. Oh, that was your confession. <laughs> um, B-side. Here we go, here's My Obsession and then we've got Electric Blue and then I'm pretty sure over my head is... Where is it? Here we go. Over my head is the B side of Electric Blue. And then here we've got these two backstage passes with the Manic Colors album covers. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so these um, caps from Nuki were from probably about two years ago. And these are really cool, and I still wear them every single time I go for a walk and everything. And I've actually been wearing them at Ice House Kicks and everything like that. The red one and the black one um, with crazy and then we've got little the little man of colors each has a signature i have a signature stitched on and then we've got the nuki logo and then we've got the ice house logo at the back so my most recent purchase of probably about two and a bit weeks ago um is this man of colors tank top it's really cute it has the um album cover uh, no text or anything. Yeah, that's really cool, and it's um, pretty much it's a new addition to the um, Ice House uh, merchandise. Yeah, the merchandise because I saw it for the first time in January, and I at the time I wanted it, but I was like, uh, well, it's another forty bucks, so I probably can't afford it. So I'll wait a little while, and I thought, why not get it now? It's getting close to summer and everything. It's it's pretty much spring. It's getting closer to the warmer months, so this is perfect for if you're going to the gym, anywhere, if you're going out in the sun, it's just absolutely perfect. I love it so much. Also, earlier this month, it was Primitive Man's 30th anniversary, and I forgot to do a video for it, so I suppose why not add it now, even though it's been two weeks. So, um, so we've got this Primitive Colours tour t-shirt from a very, very long time ago, almost five years, actually, since I first saw them in concert. So it's got pretty many amount of colours, hence the picture. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this 30th anniversary um, Man of Colours video um, as we celebrate um, one of the most classic albums that I've ever, or we've ever heard. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below uh, which part your favourite was. And as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a huge, massively big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more videos from myself of everything Ice House. So thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!